Hello there. It's another time for another science lesson. Now today we'll be looking at electrical energy. Yes, we'll be looking at electrical energy. Now moving along, the objective for this lesson is to define electricity and state the types. Describe the concept of electron flow in conductors and insulators. To describe electrical circuits and the types, we are to describe fuse and circuit breaker and also describe electric meter reading and billing. Moving along, we are going to be starting with the concept of electrical energy. So what is electrical energy? Electricity is the form of energy produced by electrons which flow from atom to atom. Now this movement of electron between atoms is called electrical current. Now as you can see, electrical energy is the movement of electron in a conductor. As you can see, you have wires here, you have a bulb, then you have um, a conductor which shields the wire and we have the electric cell and so moving along we'll be looking at the concept of conductor and insulator now an electrical conductor allows electric current to flow through it an electrical conductor is a, is a metal that allows electrical current to flow through it now examples of conductors we have water which is a weak conductor we have gold, we have copper, we have steel. Now, electrical insulator are materials that don't allow electric current to flow through them. They don't allow electrical current to flow through them. Usually, non-metals are electrical insulators. Example, we have oil, we have cork, we have glass, and we have rubber. So, moving along, we'll be talking about circuits now. Now, what is a circuit? A circuit is an arrangement or a path through which electrons flow. It is an arrangement or path through which electrons flow. It is made up of a cell or battery, wire, and other components such as bulbs, resistors, switch, and so on. Now, this is a diagram of a simple electric circuit. Now, you have it is made up of wire, a cell or a battery, a bulb, and a switch. Now, the switch is to help to um to um it is to help to ensure that the current flows throughout the circuit once the switch is off then the electrons will stop flowing once the switch is on then the electron will, will flow now the source of the electron is the battery or the cell here and the wire helps to move the electron along a certain path and once the electron gets to the bulb the bulb lights up so this is the diagram of a simple electric circuit now, this this is what we call the circuit diagram and components now this is how you draw a circuit this is a basic electric circuit diagram now you have the the straight line which represents the wire you see you have this arrow which shows the direction of electron flow now we have a conductor which is the wire we have the resistor the switch and the battery or cell now there are other components you know that can be added to a circuit and this is the diagram that represents those components we have the open switch the closed switch we have the lamp the voltmeter the ammeter the fuse the resistor the battery or the cell and so on now these are the components and this is the basic electrical circuit diagram now we'll be looking at the two types of circuits that we have now we have the series circuits and the parallel circuit now what is the series circuit the series circuit is a series of connection that components are connected end to end as you can see all these components are connected end to end the battery the switch and the two bulbs they are connected end to end to form a single path for it for the current to flow this is the series circuit so you can see that these two bulbs are connected end to end allowing for one path for electrons to flow now in the case of parallel circuits parallel circuits are connected in such a way that it creates more than one path for electrons to flow. as you can see from the direction of the electron here you can see that there are two paths there's a branching here which allows for two paths for electrons to flow 
and this is the parallel circuit now this is the diagram of the parallel circuit as you can see represented here this is the circuit diagram now as you can see here this is the circuit diagram for series circuit so these are the two types of circuits that we have now one of the two of the major differences between series and parallel circuit is that in series circuits there's only one path for electron to flow as you can see in the diagram here now as you can see in the parallel circuit we have two paths for electrons to flow so you can see that there's one path branching off here and there's another path branching off here so you have these two bulbs connected in parallel so that it creates two pathways for electron to flow that is one difference and another difference that you can notice is that if there is a break in the circuit here if the circuit here is broken or interrupted here both bulbs will go off both bulbs will go off because there's only one single one path for electron to flow so once there's an interruption somewhere here two, the two bulbs will stop uh, will not light up but in the case of the parallel circuit if there's an interruption somewhere here this bulb will go off because the the path of the electron has been cut off so the electric current won't light up the bulb but here as long as this one is not interrupted this bulb will not go off it will not go off so if there's an interruption in one of the path the the electron will flow through the other path allowing the bulb to be on allowing the bulb to be on as you can see in our houses most of the houses the the electrical connections are usually in parallel are usually in parallel, in parallel so that once there's an interruption in one path the other bulb is not what interrupted or will still be lighted up moving along we'll be looking at the fuse and the circuit breaker as you can see here we have the diagram of the fuse and the circuit breaker what are their functions fuse and circuit breakers are used to protect electrical equipment in the house against suddenly large overloading of electrical flow usually we have the fuse you know in our appliances in our electrical appliances like our iron our tv you know the the connector to the mains usually have fuse so that when there's a surge um, of electrical current it won't damage the appliance itself instead the fuse will cut off the um, electric flow going into the appliance so that the appliance will not get damaged but in the case of the circuit breaker the circuit breaker is usually to protect the whole house from sudden electrical surge now if our electrical connection in the home or in the house doesn't have this circuit breaker it can lead to fire accident or fire outbreak so that is why these um, two appliances that you see here are very very important now moving on to electrical to electric meter reading and reading and billing the electric meter tells how much electricity has been used or remains you know to be used now the old which is also called postpaid meter helps to calculate accurate energy bills now this is how it works usually uh, the nepa officials you know will have the reading of last last month you know on your meter in kilowatt um, hour they will take the reading for the previous month and when they come this month to give you your bills your energy bill they will read the new um, reading on your postpaid meter and calculating the differences calculating the difference they multiply it with uh, the amount for one kilowatt meter for instance if the old postpaid meter for last month was 45 and the one for this month is 55 so they measure the difference which is usually uh, which is 10 kilowatt hour and what they do is that they multiply it to the amounts that you ought to pay for one kilowatt hour let's assume that the amount you pay is is 100 naira 100 naira times 10 that means you pay 1000 naira for the electricity that you use between the previous month and the new month but we now have the new prepaid meters you will hardly find maybe in some places they still use the old meter but in other places they use the new prepaid 
meters and what this does is that you pay ahead of time so you don't use the electricity and pay later but you pay ahead of time so it is the amount that you pay for that you use and once it is exhausted what happens is that the light will go off then you buy um, another one through token then you load it and your electricity comes on again so in the new prepaid meter you don't require any calculation but it only indicates the amount of energy that you have left at the moment now moving along these are the these are the pictures for the postpaid and the prepaid meters now the postpaid meters as you can see the amount of energy that you use is, is in kilowatt hour so this is the reading so it keeps on reading as you use the electricity so it is the differences between the previous month's reading and this new and the current reading that will determine the amount of uh, the amount of electricity that you have used and the amount that you are going to pay but in the case of the new prepaid meter all you have to do is buy electrical electricity token you load it uh, using this um, keypad you load it on then your electricity comes on automatically and once it is exhausted all you have to do is to buy another token load it and your electricity will come back on so now we have come to the end of this lesson on electrical energy now let's look at the summary of the points electricity is the form of energy produced by charged particles which flow from atom to atom we have two types of materials conductors usually metals which allow electrons to flow through them while insulators usually non-metals we do not allow electrons to flow through them a circuit is an arrangement or a path through which electrons flow we have two kinds of circuits parallel and series circuits fuse and circuit breakers protect electrical equipment in the house against suddenly large overloading of electricity now i want you to pause this video and go through these assessments to find out how much of the lessons you have understood or learned and i'll see you again next time bye bye